Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Uh, once again, uh, we are back to uh, yet another segment of the lesson. Uh, last, of course, we have, uh, we have, I have explained, you know, uh, the definition of voice law, and of course, I have explained the mathematical expression of voice law by driving down, you know, uh, the uh, the expression for you, and of course, you have seen, you know, the formula that we use in calculation in calculating problems in voice law. And of course, today, as I've said, is a continuation of the lesson from where we stop. We are going to look at calculation based on inverse proportion, which is when we say inverse proportion, of course, we are we are uh, we are talking of voice law. So this is a problem. There is a this is an example. I have example one here. Uh, a sample of nitrogen occupies a volume of uh, 0 0.60 dm cube at 400 K Kelvin and atmospheric pressure. What will be its volume at 400 Kelvin and 507 millimeter mercury? The uh, question for us is take uh, one atmosphere, take one atmosphere to be equal to 760 millimeter mercury. When I was explaining the behavior of gases, of course, uh, you have seen uh, the SI unit and the conversion of one value to another, where I said, uh, when I was explaining pressure, I said when you have one atm, it's always equals to seven hundred and sixty millimeter mercury in the purpose of conversion, and of course you have seen where I said uh, this uh, dm cube, the unit is is what is volume, and likewise if you see cm cube, of course is volume, and when you see k, which is Kelvin, is temperature. Or when you see degree Celsius uh, as a unit is temperature and of course when you see millimeter mercury is what is pressure or when you see Newton per meter square as a unit of course we're talking of pressure but in the case of voice law in voice law we always have you know a combination of pressure and volume while temperature while temperature t is always constant but here you can see the solution to this problem data given us p1 which is volume which is uh, sorry which is pressure that is the initial pressure from the question you can see uh that uh the the atmosphere uh, the temperature which is 400 Kelvin is constant is constant. So therefore we are not going to use the value of temperature Rather we are going to use the value of what pressure because we are talking of what boys law. So here uh, We said the 400 Kelvin and atmospheric pressure. So even without giving the value We will take you know one atmosphere to be what is cost to be equal to 760 millimeter mercury so here we can just take you know you can just use 760 millimeter mercury as what as our p1 which is what which is the uh, one atm of course atm i say it means atmospheric atmospheric so which is equal to 760 millimeter mercury so your p1 is it will be taken to be 760 millimeter mercury and remember where uh, the p1 is where uh, is, uh, millimeter mercury or atm will be applicable will determine you know the value of p2 if p2 is given in atm then you take one atm to be your p1 but if p2 is given in millimeter mercury then you take 760 millimeter mercury that is in the quest of your calculation let's proceed now uh, v1 is equals to 0 0.60 dm cube as you can see from the question we said uh, a sample of nitrogen occupies a volume of 
a volume of 0.60 dm cube. This is your V1. Uh, this is your what? This is your V1. At uh, 400 Kelvin, which is constant. Of course, you are not going to use this value. And atmospheric pressure. Of course, we have already uh, discussed this on that earlier. So what will be its volume at 400 Kelvin? Now, what will be its volume? The question now, the volume is what you are asked to get. It's unknown, which is V2, well, which is the V2, and it's going to be in dm cube. What will be its volume at 400 Kelvin and 507 millimeter mercury? 507 millimeter mercury, same millimeter mercury, of course, you know we are talking of volume. Uh, sorry, we are talking of uh, pressure. So now, your P2, that is your final volume, will be 507 millimeter mercury. So since your P2 is in millimeter mercury, your P1 also, you will take it to be in millimeter mercury. So your V2 is unknown, is what we are determined to get. So at this uh, juncture, we uh, we are going to take our formula, which is P1 V1 is equals to P2 V2. This is the formula that we are going to use in calculating uh, this problem. So here, since you 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 uh, since we want to calculate uh, the final volume, which is V2, of course you divide both sides by P2. When you divide both sides by P2, you will have you know. Uh, V2 is equal to P1 V1 over P2. I hope I'm communicating. So from here, you take this, then you insert your values. These values, that is, you take P1, which is 760 millimeter mercury, times you take uh, V1, which is 0 0.60 dm cube, over what is your P2? 5. 0, 07 millimeter mercury and you put it down just zero i did it here so as you can see here we have uh 760 millimeter mercury times uh v1 which is 0 0.60 dm cube over you know p2 which is uh given to be 507 millimeter mercury you can from here said millimeter mercury cancel millimeter mercury so when you multiply this uh, 760 by 0 0.60 dm cube you will have 0 0.899 but when you approximate it you have 0 0.90 dm cube this is your final answer and this is your volume so now uh, as you are sitting at home please try this this question as assignment uh, a given quantity of gas occupies a volume of 228 cm cube at a pressure of 750 millimeter mercury the question is what will be its volume at atmospheric pressure i hope i uh, you uh, you have uh, I, 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 I let me believe that from the explanation you can be able to solve uh, the assignment and please try as well to consult your textbooks and see other examples so that it will help you in, uh, in answering questions or problems like this. Thank you very much.